Hey friend, Hector here from StrongTech.com with this week's workout of the week. Today we're going to be opening up our squat series. We're going to be work, we're working on the squat across all um, across all episodes, everything from Movement Monday to Technique of the Week, and now Workout of the Week. And today's going to be pretty simple, um, pretty bare bones actually. But this is going to be perfect if you're new to squatting or maybe you're just getting back into squatting um, and you're looking to basically learn the basics. And what we're going to be doing is, like I said. It's going to be a very simple workout today. And, and you might even, I might not even consider this a workout. You may even consider this like some kind of movement prep or maybe as a preparatory for an actual workout that incorporates squatting. So if you're doing kettlebell complexes or some kind of supersetting with like pressing and squatting. But basically all we're going to be doing is we're going to be supersetting posterior rocking and the squat. <clears throat> particularly the goblet squat. And, but here's the thing, is we're gonna start everything from the bottom. So technique of the week, I covered how to start your squat, how to find your foot position, chest and head position from the bottom. We're gonna be maintaining that same consistency through our workout of the week today. <clears throat> so you're gonna start from, you're gonna start from this quadru quadrupeded position right here, okay? You're gonna lean the bell forward, and what you're going to do is you're going to tuck your toes, keep your chest up, and you're going to knock out about 10 posterior rocks, okay? Keeping your head up, inhale forward, exhale back, and you'll knock out about 10 posterior rocks. From here, once you knock out your 10, you're going to get into position of squat. So you're going to set up your feet, you're going to curl the belt to your chest, from here, you're gonna inhale, and you're gonna grunt and come up in one unit. Lock your hips, lock your quads, inhale, come back down, and put the bell down. Lean the bell back down, and you're gonna posterior rock. Again, you'll do about another 10. This is gonna help you to reset your hips, reset your ankles, reset everything in between each rung. And we're gonna be doing a ladder, pretty simple ladder. We're gonna be working our way up to four, one, two, three, four. And you're gonna knock that out for about 15 minutes. You set a timer for 15 minutes, and we're gonna run through that ladder and see how many ladders that you can do. So, you'll rock back and forth 10 times. As Soon as you feel like you're ready to go again, you're gonna set the feet, get the optimal position, head, hup. back down, now you got two. Hup. Bell down, and you're gonna do your rocking again. When you feel like you're ready to go, usually after about 10 rocks or so, you should be ready to go again. Okay, set the feet, curl the belt to the chest, head up, chest up, I'll take you through the fourth one. So you kind of get an idea of where I'm going. So you set a timer for 15 minutes and you're gonna knock out as many of these ladders as you can with clean technique with the goblet squat, okay? When you feel like you're ready to go again. And the crazy thing is I can actually feel my hips becoming more and more mobile because I'm able to sit back further towards my heels, okay? So now I'm increasing mobility, flexibility and getting a great strength training workout at the same time. And I'm improving my squat, which is the most important thing, right? Improving the quality of movement. That's the key. Okay, set my feet again. Find the best foot position. Chest and head is up. Move the hips a little bit. Hup. 
And there you have it. Then I'll go through and I'll rock again. And then you start over. Back to one. Hit your squat. Rock. Two squats. Rock. Three. Rock. Four. And then you just repeat that for about 15 minutes. Okay? If you feel you need to get up, walk around, do that. But you'll initiate before doing any squats, you're always going to start with that reset where you're doing the posterior rocking and resetting the hips, the ankles, the chest, the head. You're resetting all of that. Then you do whatever rung you have up next, whether it's one, two, three, or four. At the end of that, you put the bell down, you feel like you need to walk around, shake things out, do that. But before you initiate the next rung of squats, you got to hit the posterior rocking to reset everything. Get the hips, the core, get all that coordinated, and then you're going to knock out your squat. So pretty simple today. It's not flashy. It's not the sexy kettlebell double front squatting or anything like that. We'll get to that. But right now, we want to focus on improving the quality of our squat along with the strength training. Okay, so we're kind of, we're hitting several different birds with one stone here. So, like I said, I felt my hips and my mobility just improving after the first couple of rungs. I was able to sit back more towards my heels by focusing on the quality of the squat, which is why we're doing all of this from the ground up. I'm not starting, I did not start the squat from the top down, because that's not how you learn how to squat. Starting it from the bottom up, it's going to help you to assess the foot position, chest, head position, and then squat on the way up. And then when we come down, we do the posterior rock, which is basically a squat unloaded, and it's kind of resetting the hips, resetting the ankles, head, posture, all that. So a lot of good stuff is going on. So that's pretty much it. That's this week's workout of the week on the squat. So this is squat series part one. And uh, if you have any questions, you have any comments, as always, leave something in the comment section below. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is like up here somewhere. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, I'm Hector at strongsec.com with this week's workout of the week.